uh, hi everyone and welcome back so in previous videos we talked about stack queue and linked list the class based implementation and we just did a push pop nqdq and linked list insert okay and this was running perfectly fine now what we will start doing is let's just uh, put it somewhere maybe just comment this whole out so that we can write some other code okay let's move this in the bottom okay now our first statement we are going to write is check if a string is palindrome or not with the help of stack okay so the only thing we are going to introduce is palindrome you can check by just reversing a string by simply a, a string dot split dot reverse dot join in javascript but we wanted to use a, a stack here okay so here this is your string which has been given to you okay now what you are going to do is uh, we are going to use stack here so first of all just get this on top okay this is the stack data structure we had and uh, we are just going to write this functions and we will use stack there so uh, you can say let s stack go to new stack okay and uh, what we are going to do is we got the input words so we will do a loop onto this and we will push all the elements to a stack okay so let i is 0 i is less than uh, word dot length This can be very easy, easiest solution, and which you which you are already aware. Like you do the push and then start doing a pop. So stack dot push, and we'll push all the elements from this word array. Okay. Now uh, consider that we have reverse word, which is initially empty. Let's keep it lowercase and here what we will do is while s dot length s dot length is greater than which is length is a function right greater than 0 so if you can see s dot length uh, return dot count so we are keep producing it okay that is fine s dot length is greater than 0 then you'll just concating it r word equal to r word plus equal to the pop from the stack right and finally if word equal to a reverse of it that means uh, true otherwise return false this is what we have so this is a story of palindrome right now we can call it you can write test cases and all we will try to fix we will try to improve the stack i mean you can just simply use the array also so here i mean if you wanted to use this is something like this or you can also use const stack equal to this array simple array and you are doing a push and then pop this works in similar fashion here we wrote the custom implementation using objects it can be a simple array you do the push and based on the stack dot length if it is greater than 0 then you keep doing pop okay once you do the pop stack length will reduce here now we just need to call it like this because stack is now an array stack dot push stack dot length and stack dot pop and this is how it is right similarly uh, what we can do is if you try to write the factorial okay in simple language what we do is simple factorial you just get the input if you talk about simple recursive function if n equal equal to 0 then you will return 1 this is the base condition otherwise what you do is you call it recursively return n multiplied by factorial of uh, n minus 1 this is a simple recursive function
Now if I try to do with the help of stack, same coding question, simple with the stack, what we can do is, I will create a stack, okay. So consider stack can be a simple array, here in my case, it's a simple array, okay. While n is greater than 1, what I will do is, I will push everything inside a stack, stack dot push and minus minus okay so I got all the elements now for final equal to 1 and what I will do is while s dot length stack dot length which is nothing but an array if stack dot length is greater than 0 then uh, final multiplied equal to stack dot pop Okay, and then return final. This is how it will work. We just have an array. We keep doing a pop push, and once we are doing a pop, we are just keep multiplying the elements, right? Final equal to whatever the current value we have in the final, and whatever we got in the from the pop, and it will iterate till the stack is empty, and we are returning final. Right, similarly we will also write uh, some code logic for balanced expression in the next video.